full client work straight up like I got paid for those hours. <laughs> Makes sense. And then, you know, what hours you have left to work on your own stuff or do Facebook group engagements or make some connections with people like those have to be side things to the billable hours. And so for me, just kind of that little like mindset shift was like very helpful. So. What inspired you to create Rorschach, your reality? Yeah. So I got into being a VA, you know, I'm doing all of this work for all of these amazing business owners. I'm writing tons of content for other people and other amazing businesses. And I just felt like I'm a good writer and I have so many of my own ideas and, and things. And I just want my own little corner of the internet um, that can be mine, you know, that I can write content or produce content and just have a, a place that's my voice. And so that's that was kind of my thinking when I knew that I wanted to put a website together. And then in February, I was like, just kind of again mulling over like oh i would really like to have a podcast i think that'd mm -hmm. be cool and and then i was like okay here's the thing like i own a very nice mac laptop because i work from home and you want a nice laptop and i own headphones and i have garage band like why don't i have a podcast like you have all mm -hmm. of the things you technically need to have a podcast like i've got a brain i got a mouth you know um so I, it was very much like a, okay, so I Google, I Googled it and I think a Pat Flynn article came up. It was like ah. the five things you have to have or, you know, so I Pat don't Flynn. Yep. Out, but yes. Yep. And I mean, it was just like, okay, like you need a title. So it's like, what would I want it to be called? And like, literally I just kind of brainstormed out. I, I know that I want it to have to do with mind, mindset shifts, with story, with narrative, with the stories that we tell ourselves. So I want, I will need a title that's broad enough to encompass all of that, that like could mean something, but also doesn't lock me in, in case, you know, I have some shifts and, and want to change. So um, of course, Rorschach is the ink blocks um, where, and it's this, I love the idea of like, we can just look at a splotch on a piece of paper and everybody comes up with a story for it, a meaning for it, what you're seeing. And there's nothing there, but as people, we like to find something there and we like to attribute meaning and we like to think that, you know, there's this deeper other thing. And of course, all of that meaning is coming from us and things we've internalized and things we believe and things that dwell within us. And then we project them out onto, in this case, an ink blot. Um, but most of our lives are that way. You know, so much of it is projection. So much of what you experience is, is just coming from really your own internal stuff mm. that you're projecting out onto what you think other people thought or how you interpreted what this person said or mm. how you feel about this event that happened. So, uh, so Rorschach, your reality is about understanding that when you look at your reality, most of the meaning there is being created by the stories you're making up about it. Mm. And if you wanted to, you could adjust that, tell yourself a different story, create a different meaning and change your life. Great title, Warshak Real Your Reality. Yep. That's a great <laughs> title. And you started a podcast. I did, yes. It's the it's the same title as your website, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, just Rorschach Your Reality is a podcast, so didn't stray too far there. <laughs> and what do you what do you talk about in your podcast? Yeah, so mm. I when I've kind of put out for guests, I have mostly um, solicited for people who might be interested in talking about how mindset or their perceptions of things have impacted their life, their journey. Um, so my first six episodes were just kind of solo casts that I recorded from my couch mm -hmm. and I just kind of share my story, right? Kind of where I'm coming from, the things I've experienced. Um, I was, I had a counselor that I really loved the last year that we, that I lived in Dallas and felt like I really dug into a lot of, of parts of my life. So the first six episodes are just kind of that. So if you're listening now and you just love my voice and you want to know mm -hmm. about my life. What is that? Check it um, out. And then I, I've started doing um, 
more interviews. So I actually, the, the interview that goes up tomorrow is uh, someone who does hypnosis. And I, I think I'm just really interested in stories, like anybody's story. Like, where did you come from? What was a shift in your life? What made the shift happen? That's mm. so intriguing to me. And, you know, for some people, it's something huge, you know, the loss of a parent or moving or, you know, a, a job situation. And for other people, it's just something so small, you know, like waking up and just this deep sense of dissatisfaction and just recognizing that your life isn't what you thought it was going to be. And then like taking just one small step at a time. And uh, so I just, I love the shift, like the point of the shift. Uh, like where the shift happened and why it happened and, and how it impacted you is what I love, I guess. It's good stuff. You think why do you, why do you think so many of us settle? Oh man, I think a lot of it is just feeling obligated, hmm. obligated to what we think we're supposed to do, obligated to what we think other people want from us. Um, you know, whether it's this kind of. You know, like I had even mentioned with my writing, like sometimes I feel the stress of like how my how my parents will receive it, what they'll think of it. And I'm an adult, and on on some level, it doesn't matter what they think of it. But on another level, it's there in my mind, and mm-hmm. I wonder about it. And it's hard not to let it impact me. And I think everything from who you marry to the job you have to the clothes you wear to the education you seek. Oh, those things are tied to a lot of obligations we feel from society, from family, from religion, if you're, if you're part of an organized religion. Yeah. And they can be very limiting. And I, and then some of it is, it's not even truly from them. It's from ourselves and our own ideas about what would please this person or what would this person want. And they've never said to us, you need to do this. I would be upset if you did that, but we just assume Mm. and we tell ourselves. And I think so often we're very surprised um, when the reality is we're still supported and we're still loved and they never needed us to put ourselves in that little box that we thought we had to get in for them to approve of us or or love us. Um, So I think some of it is just that fear of, of being rejected or being unwanted if we change. And in reality, I think that happens a lot less frequently than we think it might. As long as they Rorschach their reality. <laughs> <laughs> Comes right back. Oh, yeah. All ties together. Yes. <laughs> Any advice for future writers? Um, I would say write and read. You know, don't put it off. Don't spend all of your time like gathering your tools and thinking about what you're going to write. It's okay to not have a plan. Like you don't have to have mapped out an entire novel to write something. Very true. So if you don't have a plan, fine, just get in the habit of every day you write a hundred words, 300 words. It can be about anything. Describe something on your desk. Just write your dream from the night before and eventually a a thread will emerge that you know you want to follow and follow it a thread do you think we all have an artist inside of us i think we do and i think it can come out in a lot of different ways but i think everybody has a desire to express deep internal truths about themselves and just the most compelling way to do that. Very nice. How can people connect with you, Hannah? Yeah, so my website is www.rorschachyourreality.com and then um, on iTunes, my podcast has the same name. Otherwise, over on Instagram, I'm at Rorschach Your Reality. So. Check her out. We'll put that in the show notes. Awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And uh, the final question, why does art matter? Art matters because it's the way humanity expresses truths that go beyond just facts and intellectual knowledge and things that really get at the heart and soul of who we are as people. And it's been that way for as long as people have existed. And I think it will continue no matter how it how it shifts or or what different shapes it takes, it will always matter because it's about 
our humanity is. Hmm. That's a good one. <laughs> well, that's it. I thank you so much, Hannah, for being a guest. My first podcaster, too. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. I loved uh, having the chance to come on and do this. Yes, thank you so much. So check her out, Marshak Reality, and give her some love and support, people. Thank you so much for being on the show, Hannah. Thank you so much. There you have it. I like Hannah's tips on getting through writer's block, especially picking the one sentence from a book that you like and just kind of making it your own. Never heard that one before. That's a good one. And of course, it's important to be not only writing, but reading also. Seeing what other authors are doing and get a feel of their work. Maybe become a fan like Stephen King or any of the authors out there. I definitely want to check out his book on writing. I haven't written anything in a while, uh, fiction-wise, but... uh, well, these uh, guests are getting me interested in getting back into that foray. You know what the problem is, especially with screenwriting, is you have to think of the characters' voices because it does list the character, then you put a line for them. And I guess maybe I just don't want to be writing that stuff <laughs> on paper and then having to rewrite it again in final draft. But that's just excuses. I Granted, I think this podcast is taking up a lot of time, which is okay. I love doing it. I have to write up questions for my guests. I have to write up their show notes, put them all together, put the episodes together, which is fine. I'm really glad to have been doing this kind of stuff on my birthday. It uh, gives the birthday a little more meaning. It's a milestone. Last year, I wasn't a podcaster. I wasn't even thinking of doing a podcast like this. I did have my podcast on making my movie, The, The Park, which is still out there. You could look at it for the park, the podcast. But doing something like this, where I had to go all in and get graphics for this and get a podcasting host site, getting a regular website and setting it all up. I didn't think I would do something like this. But here we are. Episode number 20. Talk about a good birthday present. That's one I'm very grateful that I've made it this far. And uh, hey, we'll see what happens for my next birthday. Can't wait. So thanks for tuning in. And of course, you can check me out on Instagram at instantalex70. <laughs> I'm also on Twitter under the real Alex Rudy. And you can check out the Artist Matters page on Facebook. And We are on YouTube and, of course, the website, theartistreallymatters.com. Check it out. We got all the guests there. Listen to past episodes and show them some love. Check out their stuff. There's so many out there, and I've got quite a few more lined up. Can't wait to share their stories with you. There's a varied uh, field of artists, a lot of strong women out there. And hey, if you want to give me a belated birthday present, go to iTunes, check out The Artist Matters, and give me a five-star review. It really helps. Thank you much. It'll make my belated birthday present feel so much better. So uh, thanks a bunch. Keep enjoying the show, sharing with others. And I will see you all next time in this fine month of July with another artist. Thank you, Mucho. And until we meet again, no matter where you go, let your creativity flow. <laughs>